Hi there, and welcome back, I guess. I haven't posted in a while, and um, this video is going to kind of explain why. Basically, I'm going to do a summary of July, even though we're already on, what, day 12 in August, and it, it's been a little while. Basically, July was a lot of mess, very messy month. Um, we started with a move. I had moved to uh, Los Angeles in June. However, we were in a studio apartment, the two of us and the cat. It was not enough space. So we moved July 1st to a new apartment and we have all the bedrooms we need. We actually have bedrooms, we have a kitchen, and that was great except for moving is really hectic. So we had all of that and right at the beginning of the month we also unfortunately lost our grandmother. Um, my stepdad's mother, my grandmother, passed away after suffering from Alzheimer's for a few years. It was like three or four years slowly building up. It wasn't too bad in the beginning, but towards the end it did get pretty rough with her having not remembering anyone, um, trouble speaking. It, it's definitely a condition that I would never wish on anyone. It was very tough and um, the beginning of July she did pass away. So me and my sister in the middle of this move packed up, we packed into my car at like 11 after 11 p.m. one night and drove all the way to Wyoming which was a 16 hour drive one way so I drove all the way there and then we spent uh, almost a week which included the 4th of July holiday in Wyoming and here's also where I have the topic for today aside from hey all this hectic stuff happened um, what do you do when you have to travel and might not have a gym because when I say Wyoming I mean small town Wyoming. Not a lot there, so you don't typically expect a gym. And when you're going for an event like a funeral or some, even if you're going for something good, you can take a vacation and you can either exercise or you can take a break. And either one is okay. Um, when I was spending time with family, that was my main focus. I wasn't worried about, oh, what am I going to do about my gains? Where am I going to find a gym? How am I going to deadlift? Where? Uh-oh. What am I going to do? It wasn't really an issue because A, it wasn't really important considering situations, but also there might be some places where you didn't expect any, and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, first off, the rest of the month after the funeral and we spent time with family, we even had July 4th, and I do have some video of the fireworks display to show at the end of this because that is something else you might not expect to have fun in small towns is they can have some pretty cool events such as the firework displays. Um, aside from that we drove all the way back home another 16 hours. I did most of the driving. Sister did a little bit but I did most of the driving and then I also had to finish moving in July but before that happened I had a uh, minor car incident in that it was slow speed, no one was injured, there were just two cars involved, minor damage, like I didn't even have to really pay to get mine fixed because it was the license plate, that, that was it. So it was just a bad day involving my car. And then right before I went back up to Oregon to get the rest of my stuff because as the one or two people who have seen the video might remember, I came here with just a car of my stuff. I didn't have my bed or anything. So even though we moved into this nice apartment, I had to sleep in my sister's room still because my bed, my you know everything I had that was big and bulky was still in Oregon. So I planned to go out there the end of July. Well, day before I was supposed to leave for that, I busted a tire. Yeah. Um, be careful when you're driving in mall structures. And I was trying to get up on the roof to try to find a parking spot. Couldn't see the, where the curb went, and yeah, busted a tire. And then because I've never used the jack and the donut in my car, I wasn't sure, quite sure where to place it, so I didn't do it myself. I actually called and had roadside assistance, which they are very helpful. They came, and he was a very nice guy. He even actually showed me like the picture on my jack and showed me the places on my car that if it happens again, I will actually be able to change. Because I can change a tire. I've helped change on a big truck in the mountains. So I can do it. I just wasn't comfortable in that situation. Instead I got roadside assistance and while I waited I went and got Sprinkles cupcakes because I was at the mall and having a bad day. But yeah, so that's what happened before I went to Oregon. 
and then I had to drive all the way to Oregon, which was another almost 16 hour drive, but 16 hours because I hit a bad traffic stop and go before I even got to where I was going. So I ended up later than planned. Packed up all my stuff, my dad helped, so we had a truck, and then drove all the way back. So that was all the stuff that happened in July. Move, funeral, driving, car breaking, my car accident, and move again, more driving. It was just a long month. However, I was still able to do some things, and um, some of these clips will actually show that. Like, I had a surprise. Back when I lived, before I lived, we lived, you know, I lived in my small town before I moved out again after college and everything. The only gyms we really had were a physical therapy center, but which had treadmills, it had some cable equipment, but it wasn't really a free weight spot. The only other free weights were actually at the high school, which is where I first did bench press. I actually started with bench press, not squats. That was my intro to lifting. But there's that, which I don't really feel comfortable going to, or I heard you can lift at the fire station because apparently firefighters do lifting in their spare time. Not that surprising. But I never thought about actually going and saying, hey, can I lift here? Well, I considered doing that this time until I saw this place. Yes, we have a gym in Small Town, Wyoming that is CrossFit Center, kind of, but it doesn't have the staffing or classes because uh, we don't have a lot of people. No. I mean, I graduated with like 64 people in my class. That That's how big. Yeah, it's not big. So it had like the weekly, the WAD, whatever that thing is called, listed, and they had all these spots for doing bench press, they had the spots for deadlift and doing other lifts, and they had the actual equipment, they had places to climb the wall, they had the rings, so it had a lot of equipment that I don't even get in my gyms here, because I go to Anytime Fitness, so. I am at a commercial gym that doesn't have a lot of weightlifting equipment, so I took advantage, and here is actually the video clip of the gym, and that will be followed by my deadlifts. I actually did deadlifts while I was away, and it was kind of fun. I also benched and didn't do very well, but that's okay. The dead was more, more fun. So here's those clips, and then at the end is the fireworks show, and that was basically July. Hopefully yours went better, and I'm hoping August was going to go better for me. I'm also going to have a lot of videos, and coming up next will be writing questions. Things you don't expect in small town Wyoming. Ho, 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 and, and... My own dunes. California doesn't have this. So excited. And bars.